Hey, how's it going? I'm just going to really quickly show you how to create a new live set in Ableton Live and how to create tracks. I have Live in my dock, so I'll launch it from there. When Live first opens, it'll look something like this. I'm using version 9.7.1, the standard version of that, and depending on your settings, and what you did the last time you were in live, if you were in live before, this may look a little different, depending. Uh, I'll just start off by drawing your attention to the selector at the top right here, the arrangement view selector and the clip view selector. The arrangement view selector has horizontal lines. When you click on it, it arranges the tracks horizontal left to right like most standard DAWs. And the clip view has that unique vertical arrangement that Ableton has. So for now, click the clip view to arrange yours to look like the way mine looks right now. This triangle at the top left shows or hides the browser view. So click to show it for now. And by the way, while we're here, this triangle at the bottom on the left shows and hides the info view, which is very useful to have open uh, because now wherever your cursor hovers, you get a description of what you're looking at. If you're new to Ableton, this is a really handy feature to have. And while you're at it right now, if you have the info view visible, you can hover over this browser panel on the left and, and read some information about it, and you can see what this is. The, the way the browser works is that if you click on a heading here, it shows you the contents of it on the right side of the browser. So I just clicked on drums, and here's a list of all the different drums that are available. And if I click on audio effects, similarly, here's all the audio effects. Sounds shows you a list of all your sounds regardless of what device created it. And search is obviously just, well, I'll type in piano here, and you'll see that what's available in the list of sounds has been now reduced to a few things. I'm looking for a grand piano. Here's one here. Uh, if this little blue headphone button is engaged, you get a preview of whatever's selected up here. Sounds that are available here in the browser, if you drag it to a MIDI track, and Ableton by default has provided me with a couple of MIDI tracks here available. If you just drag it to the track, it installs that instrument on the track now, even change the name of the track. This red light shows that the track is armed, and if you have a MIDI keyboard hooked up, are you ready to record something now with that grand piano sound? Alternatively, I could have dragged the sound all the way over here to this space, this empty space where there's no tracks and Ableton has created a new track with that device. It's armed, as you can see by the red light here, and that's, that track is ready to record. Lastly, if you need to create a new blank track, you can use the Create menu item and choose Insert MIDI track. And then after you've done that, pick a device and drag it in. That's how you make a new track in Ableton.